Alright, we're at. This is a tutorial for the Raspberry Pi 3 streaming device. Got the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the Model B. This is a case, the power supply, an SD card, and I went ahead and picked up a wireless keyboard for it to, to control it with. Alright, and this is what it looks like after it's all together. Um, it went together a lot faster than I planned on it to, or I would have recorded the process, but there's really nothing to it. Um, the Kana kit, or Kana, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. I got it off Amazon. I'll, I'm going to put the links to everything that I talk about in the description. But the kit came with the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. It came with the clear case, and it came with the power adapter. Um, so I picked that up, and then I got a 16 gig, just a high-speed SD card. And then I also got this keyboard. And if you're going to do this, I highly recommend getting this keyboard. It makes controlling this so simple, especially if you're going to be using it for Kodi um, and things like that. The mouse pad works fine, but this gives you the option to use the up, down, left, right. I mean, the home button works. Everything works okay on it, so it makes the navigating it real simple. It's like uh, trying to control Netflix or even a PlayStation or something like that. It's real simple, um, and it was it would even let me use it to set it up. I know a lot of times you have to use like a wired mouse and keyboard for the initial setup, and then you can switch to wireless. But it, it worked right out of the out of the box. Um, and then so after you get it all put together, like I said, real simple. No screws or anything. You just the board slides in the case pop the lid on, put in your SD card, um, hook up your cables, you're ready to go. Um, what you'll need to do first is the SD card. You'll need to put it in a, um, in like your desktop. And what I did is I downloaded the Noobs, just the, the latest version, um, just whichever is the latest version would be the one to get. And it came with Raspbian, which will be the OS you can use. It's just like a basic OS. Uh, it's a Linux-based. Um, OS just plain and then it also gives you the option to add um, lab, Labra Electric, Labra Lec or I'm not really sure how you pronounce it but it's, it's something like that you'll see what I'm talking about and it has Kodi on it when it when it boots up it'll say just enough OS for Kodi so I guess it's really low you know it doesn't use any of your power or anything so you can use it all for Kodi um, so when you boot it up it'll give you the option to select which OS you want to boot from. And I'll go ahead and plug it up and show you. Alright, so we'll let that boot up real quick. This is what you'll get. Sorry for the quality, I just had to use my GoPro for this. So what you'll do is use this lab Libra Electric. second. I'll go ahead and let it boot up into this first. Just to show you, this is the uh, Raspbian OS. It's Raspbian, I think it's called a Pixel Desktop. It'll come on that noob software if you if you get it. So this is it, and it's, like I said, it's just basic uh, it's just basic like Linux for the Raspberry Pi. So this is it, you see you can just use this just like a, it works like a mouse, like a trackpad on a laptop. So if you want to go into the other OS, just restart it. We'll just reboot. You have to select the OS when it boots. It'll automatically um boot to the last OS that you used so you don't have to do this every time that you want to use Kodi but so just see the you can use the up and down on here so just go up here to to this one see it is a fast and user friendly Kodi entertainment center distribution so we'll just use that one And like I said, this keyboard is really nice. It lights up when you touch it, and the lights go off after a few seconds of of not using it. It has a like a cell phone 
battery that's the top battery and you just recharge it even the volume works on here you see it'll you can turn the volume up and down it's real nice so then when you do that you have Cody and it'll be just blank so you'll need to go to the add-ons and add the add-ons and what I always do is you'll want Exodus for sure Exodus is where that's the best one I've found for movies it has all the box office movies I watched Logan on it um, yesterday and it's been on there for for several days but I watched Logan it's on there Beauty and the Beast things like that so you'll definitely want to get Exodus and I'm gonna put the link to all these so you'll know and then Phoenix that is a good one for live TV it's got several channels like Animal Planet Discovery Channel um, ABC NBC so you can pick up your like local news and stuff on there as well but that's just a couple I mean there's thousands and thousands of these add-ons you just need to find the right repo and just load it up um, just depending on what you want and where you live but that that's it as far as that goes and you'll have real, real simple setup from the time that this came in I ordered it off Amazon I ordered it on Friday and did next day uh, Saturday delivery got it the very next day so from the time I opened the box from the time it it took me to, to open the box I put it together put the uh, OS on the SD card and put it in there installed these two add-ons I mean you're talking about 30 minutes and you're up and watching movies for free basically so but I just wanted to make a quick video to to show that um, if there's any questions feel free to ask I'll help any way I can but like I said I'll put a link to all the to the softwares that I'm using and a link to buy this if you want to buy it and the link for this keyboard just in case anybody was curious about it but like I said any questions feel free to ask thanks